Oh my gosh. It's makeover day. Let's go surprise this family. Surprise! Oh my guys! gosh! We're here to give you guys a makeover. You were nominated, and America's watching, so say hi. Oh my. Hi, America. <laughs> All right, we're going in. You ready? Come on. Okay. Yeah, come on. <laughs> we'll stop. We'll stop. Hey y'all, thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Reed. You're watching Moving with the Military and I'm really excited to be honoring another deserving military family with a makeover. Now they have an incredible story on how they met, but it's a lot better when they tell it. <laughs> I'll let you go. We were 15 and we both attended a religious retreat, retreat for him to become a priest and me to look at becoming a nun. It was one of the ones that's sponsored for vocations, trying to figure out which path you want to take. And he asked me out for coffee, and we never went back. I think they do it too much anymore. Now they're called youth groups. And but... when they send you when you're 15 and 16, you're like, hey, That's father, like what a waste. Yeah. <laughs> we were, we, <laughs> Sister Mary Margarita. So then we dated for nine years. I went into the military based on my desire to serve. I know that probably sounds kind of corny, Let's listen to it now, but at the time, I know it had a lot to do with my parents. My parents were God, family, community. I wanted to serve. I actually had an application to go to the Air Force Academy. You know, who doesn't want to fly airplanes? Uh, but I applied to everybody, and the one that reached back was Army, and that's, that's the path that I was given, so I listened. Frankfurt, Germany area was our first deployment station and when we landed there a sergeant was waiting for him and said sir we've got a meeting to attend we've got a problem we didn't realize while we were in the air flying that Saddam Hussein had just invaded Kuwait mm -hmm. three months later Chris was gone and this was if I understand the first time that a unit was deployed from a deployed position yes which made things um, really difficult for the families and the spouses that remained because there wasn't any thing, any infrastructure for us that were just, now what do we do? To this day, I say she had a harder job because it was, challenging. It, it was new culture, new language, new rules for driving, new job, um, driving no friends. <laughs> People that have been deployed know that if you're deployed from overseas, the military families are a lot tighter knit there because there's so fewer people to lean on. It's your unit, your group. If I had the opportunity to sit down, I'm gonna get emotional, <laughs> sorry, with, with new spouses, the number one thing is you must communicate. You have to talk with your spouse, the good, the bad, the ugly. Make sure that you, you understand each other because he or she is going to leave at some point, if it's TDY, if it's a deployment, and you have to have a thorough understanding of what your thoughts and goals are. There are so many things that you can't train for as a family. You can talk about it and you can have a plan maybe. There are so many things that the spouse that's not deployed have to take care of. All the bills, everything suddenly becomes their responsibility. And Sorry. It's okay. That's, that's where I found out after I came back, I was so happy to see her. Um, I married a lot stronger person than I deserved. Um, she went through a lot. We have two rescue mini schnauzers. <laughs> two little handfuls. Two little handfuls. <laughs> Gager and Meister, they chose us. I have a TBI and my, my diagnosis from the VA was 100% um, disability for PTSD. And it changes how you look at things. So while these guys are here, we're gonna just keep loving them as much as we can, give them as much opportunity, because unknowingly, I think, on their part, they, I think, are the ones that have saved us.
meeting Chris and Maureen and seeing their two gorgeous dogs and hearing how they feel like those dogs really rescued them instead of them rescuing the dogs is really important and that's exactly why we continue to invest in this community. At New Res, we have sponsored multiple service dog organizations from Patriot Paws to Warrior Canine Connection. And our team members just had an opportunity to have puppies from Warrior Canine Connection visit on site. And this was such a beautiful day for our employees because we got to see what these service dogs, being puppies, can do for people for just a few minutes, seeing how they interact and how people relax and just the enjoyment on their face. And it's just, reminds us why we need to continue to invest in these service dogs. Not only what they'll do for our veterans, but also what they'll do for the families. Service dogs are not only for a disability or an ailment. Service dogs can be emotional support animals, and we see them across the spectrum, not only in our veteran community. So it's very important for us to continue this mission and continue to invest in these service dogs um, for our veterans and anyone else who may benefit from them. So it's time to find out what kind of furniture Chris and Maureen are drawn to. All right, so which one do you think they are gonna go with? So I think the white one with the barn doors, and that's the one that made her face light up. Yeah. She looked really excited about that. He's a little harder to read. I'm not exactly sure which one he loved the most. I think he liked the mango. The mango one, yeah. Yes, I think he liked that. That's why I said, let them yes. go on their own. Yeah. We'll step back. America, y'all had the final say. Our social media followers had the opportunity to vote on which furniture we used. So don't miss out. Keep watching to see which one made it in the makeover. So guys, let me walk you through the plan. Come on in. This is the bedroom that we're going to do. And here's the idea. Don't freak out. We're going to paint that wall black. But here's the thing. Oftentimes, the ceilings are neglected. This big giant tray ceiling and I'm going to put removable wallpaper on it never done it on a ceiling don't know how that's gonna work out but hope they like it hope you guys like it too I'm sure y'all may be familiar with a gadget such as this however comma that means they the homeowner can see what's going on, all the things that are gonna be coming in and out. Uh, no, we've gotta cover this up. Hey guys, I know that you can probably see what's going on through the camera on your doorbell, so I gotta cover that up. Sorry, it's a surprise, bye. Bye guys. What about the security camera? Well, I mean, we could always sneak up to the patio and look through the windows. Yeah, remember how to low crawl? We probably shouldn't. We're gonna be here later on today anyway. So, yeah, that's, that's really bold. However, paint is one of the least expensive ways to make an impact in, in any space. decision because it really looks beautiful when it's done. Is that a bubble right to your left? There. That. That. Thank you very much. I did not tie them together. Only because I'm on a ladder. Because if I wasn't on a ladder, she'd tie them together. Everything is content. Everything is content. Well, Everybody I'm a sissy four year old man. I don't care about content. content. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you old booger. I think it's time to give William a moment, and you and I, we can go talk design tools. 
I often get asked what is a tool that I use to help plan a room, to lay out the furniture, and one of my favorites actually is a free tool. It's a 3D room planner, and I wanna show you how to use it. You don't need any specialized training for this. Just have the measurements in hand and then sketch out the shape of the space. You can add floor coverings, windows, doors, and openings, and it will create a 3D model to help you truly visualize how you want your space to look. And best of all, it's free, and I like free. So a technique that I really like to use is to take the curtains almost to the ceiling. It's an illusion. It helps your brain think the room is taller. So if it's right at the window, think small. It's small. If it's taller, think long, long and lean. It's an illusion, but it works. Can we just pause for a moment to let these guys shine? They're doing all the heavy lifting and they definitely deserve some love. Take it away, fellas. Painting was very important to Marine, and I do love it. However, I want to elevate it, and I think by adding just a simple wood frame, it takes a canvas and it elevates the look. So thank you for making the frame. High five. They're coming up. Oh, there they are. Hey, guys. Hi. I am super excited for you both. Are you ready? Yes. Very ready. And these red, white, blue outfits. <laughs> I just have to say yes. Thank you. Thank and you. you're excited but not nervous? I'm not nervous. Are you nervous? I'm nervous and excited, yeah. I always get a little bit nervous because, you know, America voted. And the <laughs> set that's in there, the furniture that's in there, one by one vote. Really? One vote. Ooh. <laughs> so. I didn't know that. With that being said, let's go. Come okay. on out. Oh Let's do this. Mind exactly what, what it was. Oh, and this is what your room looked like before. Remember Very that? empty room with boxes. <laughs> with some boxes and some things. Some, yes. But just wanted a little reminder. Ah. Here we go. Oh, my hands are sweating. <laughs> Does somebody know how to low crawl? Like, oh, she did hear. I hear all the things. She's a true military spouse. Keep your eyes closed. There you go. So this is for both of you because as you said, I'm going to cry military families yeah, serve. Absolutely. So open your eyes. Oh my God. Thank you for watching this episode of Moving with the Military. That's a wrap!